Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to talk about variables. A variable is a letter or series of characters that stand for a different value. And the classical example is A equals 1. But in Dart, you cannot simply just write the variable out. You have to declare it. And we do that several different ways, but I'm going to go over var. Var is the type, and we declare a variable A, and we set the value it's an identifier or an assignment to a particular value. So the declaration, when you declare a variable, you just basically say var a, and then when you give it a value, that's an initialize it. You initialize the value itself. The variable, excuse me, you initialize the variable. And if you print it, you can print, you need to end it with a semicolon, of course, print the value of 1. You can reassign the variable, so a equals 3. What are you going to print? It, you initial, declare the variable, initialize it with the value 1, change, reassign it to value 3, and so it will print down below 3. You can also change it to a string. So let's just say hello world. And print that. It'll be hello world, or you can change that to a floating point, it'll print that as well. This is an example of dynamic typing. In dynamic typing, the variable can be an integer, it could be a string, or it can be a floating point. When, however, um, when we talk about strong typing versus weak typing, Dart is a strong, t strongly typed language. That means if I say a equals one, that is an integer. That number one will always be an integer. It will never not be an integer. The the value of three uh, thirty three point four 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 that's a that's a floating point. It will never not be a floating point, and hello world is a string. It will never not be a string. How does that actually come into play? Well, if you play it like this, so a equals 44, in quotation point, quotation marks, that's no longer an integer. That's a string. So the string 44, even though it's a number for us, the computer sees it as a string, it will always be a string, and it will never not be a string. That's strong typing. In weakly typed languages, and I want to go over some of these terms just so that when you, um, as, as time goes by, you experience some things. And if you learn more languages, you'll realize that they are different this way, and you have to keep in mind these differences. When you talk about weak typing, some languages, if you type it in quotation marks, so it's a string at first, it may automatically convert it into an integer, into 44. Or in certain cases, if you have a 1, it may automatically convert it into a string of 1, and not just the integer of 1, not just the number, but the text in and of itself. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. I personally like strong typing, so I don't like this thing to be converted into uh, a text or a text to be converted into an integer unless I specifically tell the computer to. You can tell the computer that, hey, I don't want this value to be an integer anymore. I want it to be text. So you can do that, but you have to specifically tell it. It won't automatically do it as it does in some other languages, which are called weakly typed languages. So at, at the same time, if we go over this, um, and, and we're talking about um, strings themselves, so let's... Just one more definition. Um, this is called when this value right here um, is a set value. It's called a number literal. And of course, the string is called a string literal. Again, you're just going to run into these terms, so I want to make sure we define them. What a number literal means is that this number does not change. Um, it is set in stone. 
It doesn't mean the variable value cannot change. So a can equal 1, then you can change a could equal 2, and a can equal 3. But the number 1 won't change. Now you might think, well, why would it change? Well, say for example, a equaled the time of day. The time of day will change. So this value, if it was the time of day, will change, but a would not. So I hope that makes sense. So that's why we call it a literal in this particular sense, because you could sometimes set the variables to equal the time of day or a changing value. String literal is the same. If, if you asked the, um, the user to type in something and A would equal that which the user typed in, that's not going to be the literal. But in this case, since hello world in and of itself does not change, it's called the string literal. OK, so I hope this was helpful for you. Next, we'll go over another characteristic of Dart, which is optional typing, which goes into static typing. Thanks.